Good morning. It was cold last night. Do all over the top of my tent this morning. Yesterday I figured out I went about 16. I got to do the same today and tomorrow. So that'll be easy. Getting a little pain in my right knee. Or my left knee, I'm sorry. Um, woke up with it this morning. I don't know what the deal is there. I have to figure that out. But so you know what the worst sound in the morning is when you're camping? Good morning. It's 10.15. I was a little slow getting out of camp this morning. It was cold. Man. But I only have 15, 16 miles to do. If I get any more than that, I'll be extremely pleased. About 16 is all I need. I did 16 yesterday. And uh, it shouldn't be that hard to do today. Uh, I've been only walking for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. My knee's not bothering me. I don't know what that was all about. And uh, it was it was brutally cold last night. That uh, uh, quilt that I have, I had a uh, sleep bag liner, a cocoon. And I slipped into that. Man, it got warm fast in there. And then uh, all of a sudden it got real... Uh, I guess humid in there, moist. And then, then that seemed to conduct the cold into me. And as soon as I took that, uh, got out of that and got into my uh, quilt without that in, it got warmer. So, still learning a lot about that quilt. I, I made a lot of adjustments in it last night to try to stay warm and keep the draft down. I think I got it uh, to the right, uh, right where I need it and had kind of figured it out. I never really figured it out on the Appalachian Trail. It just uh, never really got as cold as it did. Or yes, it did get that cold on the trail, but I was always off trail when I got that cold. And uh, it was good to uh, get that quilt down to its rating to see how it worked. Once I got it figured out, I pretty much stayed warm. But uh, um, I'm kind of liking the quilts. Uh, they're pretty, they're lightweight. They're, they're easy to uh, manipulate and uh, uh, use. They're multifunctional. So if it's uh, not super cold, you can just unbutton it and unfold it and just lay underneath it like a, a blanket which is really nice. So, but uh, yesterday, oh, it was a beautiful day. Oh, great day for hiking. Uh, water everywhere. Uh, easy trail conditions, very favorable. No views on this section. There's just really not much. Uh, I should come across a couple today, but uh, if there are any, I'll, I'll get a picture or video or something of it. Uh, afternoon, it's about 10 minutes to 1. It's been a beautiful day. Nice breeze, cool temperatures. Oh, man, look at these trails. Uh, very favorable, very level. Not a lot of uh, up, pointless ups and downs. Uh, I've ran into uh, two people on the trail today um they wore mountain bikers they just zip dyed me real quick that was it scared the hell out of me the first one because i wasn't expecting it and i heard this little ding sound like bell and i that's odd what's that what's that sound and then he hollered at me scared the hell out of me so but uh there's also a uh, a horseback around the trail I can see uh, horse prints and uh, 
there's hope or horse poop all over the trail so fresh so that's a nice hazard to watch out for but uh ran into a very nice campsite back there and uh the pond source back there i got two liters of water don't need any lot of water so i'm good on water and uh heading north i'm up at the uh what did i think a 25 mile mark um on the trail i'm going uh north so i'm going down in mileage so i got 24 miles to go until i'm done won't get that done today oh almost died right there uh oh where was i okay um probably like to get 16 in today something like that then uh a really short maybe 10 12 the next day and then uh, only a couple miles in the next morning uh you know three four miles in the next morning to meet my wife to pick me up so that's kind of the plan right now it is nice pine forest beautiful man this yes, beautiful walking through afternoon it's about 3 30. oh it's been a beautiful day man weather's nice cool breeze lots of water i've seen lots of people I saw three mountain bikers and three horseback riders i heard a bunch of atvs off in the distance uh, trail condition has been real good, very favorable, very wide, uh, not not so rocky, you know, and uh, it's been just a really, really nice day. So I've already covered about 11 miles now, and I'm going to uh, reach my 16-mile uh, uh, goal uh, pretty good. I'm pretty solid on that one today. So... But uh, I have developed, I think, uh, um, I don't know if it's a, like a bruise on the bottom of my foot, right, uh, right on the ball of my big toe, or the ball behind my big toe, my second toe right there, or if that's a, if that's a blister, it's covered up with Luco tape, and uh, uh, I put some more Luco tape over it, but boy, it just hurts. So it doesn't feel like, or it didn't look like um, a blister either. So uh, we're going to have to uh, sit down tonight and figure that one out. But uh, if you see all the broadleaf forest passing behind me, that's it's been pine and broadleaf. Pine and broadleaf all the way today. And it's just been real. No PMDs. Which are which a PMD is a pointless up and down. That's a term from the Appalachian Trail. Um, there's been none of those. It's just kind of stays as level as it can and just maps the the contour of the uh, landscape. Every once in a while, you'll have to go up and down, but uh, not a lot of ups and downs. This is a really nice section of the trail. So, all right. So I will catch you down the trail. So here's camp. Did, uh, I think I did about 18, 19 today. I haven't quite checked that, but uh, I'm on a ridge, nice cool breeze. Uh, it's not the most level campsite, but it'll do. Um, I'm my bear, or my rodent bag, it's a bear bag, but not really, really a lot of bears here in Missouri. And, uh, I'm hanging it more for rodents than I am for anything. Don't want to attract them. And right down off of the bluff there is the Coda Wave River Creek. And uh, I might have a decent sunset tonight. We'll have to see about that. See if I can do a recording. But I got, got my dinner made right there. It's cooking. Got my sleeping bag all set up and ready to go. And uh, I do have some neighbors tonight. You can see right down there, there's uh, four guys.
from Truman State staying over there. So I will uh, catch you down the trail.